It's time now for our two and two. Two stocks I'm watching and two stocks Adam is watching during today's session. And let's take a look first at shares of SoFi Technologies. Now, this stock is soaring after it received a bank charter to become a national bank from the U.S. Office of the Comptroller of the Currency overnight yesterday. Now, this comes after SoFi acquired Golden Pacific Bank as part of its plan to move toward receiving this banking license. And this is something that's going to allow SoFi to continue building on its suite of financial technology products. Now, according to Anthony Noto, the CEO of SoFi, he said in a press statement earlier that, quote, with a national bank charter, not only will we be able to lend at even more competitive interest rates and provide our members with high yielding interest in checking and savings, it will also enhance our financial products and services to ensure that they efficiently meet the needs of our members, business partners, and communities across the country while continuing to uphold a high bar of regulatory standards and compliance. Now, we should note, however, that this new license does not cover crypto transactions. But nevertheless, SoFi shares were up more than 18% today at session highs. They're holding on to most of those gains, and those shares are still on track for their best day since the stock went public via a SPAC merger in the middle of last year. Then there are shares of United Health. Now, this Dow component was one of the names to report quarterly results this morning, and the results were stronger than expected across almost all major metrics. Now, we saw fourth quarter revenue grow to $73.7 billion, whereas the estimate was for just under $73 billion among consensus analysts on Wall Street, and adjusted earnings per share came in at $4.48. Now, the big driver of these results came in United Health's Optum Health Services segment, which comprised more than half of United Health's annual operating profit last year and also eclipsed its insurance business in terms of profit contributions for the full year 2021. Now, the company also reiterated its guidance for the current fiscal year and it sees 2022 revenue of between $317 billion and $320 billion or well ahead the about $316.9 billion that consensus economists or consensus analysts rather were expecting. Now, those shares are currently up about 0.6 percentage points this afternoon, erasing some of those earlier gains but still outperforming the broader market. Adam. Emily, take a look at what's going on with United Airlines, especially since they're going to report results for the fourth quarter after the closing bell. They won't have their investor meeting and the conference, the phone call till tomorrow, but shares right now are down about two and a quarter percent. When you look at where the stock stands today versus two years ago, remember this time two years ago, as uh, Anjali reported, we had the first positive case of COVID found in the United States. Well, the stock is now off 50% since this day in 2020. So got to keep an eye on that. Some of where we stand though, the company is rebuilding as are all the airlines. We saw Delta had a much stronger quarter than some people had feared they would have. So the question for Scott Kirby and team is where are you headed, especially the 5G issue has been avoided, but there is still the Omicron uh, waves, which had an impact on United as we ended the quarter. So we're gonna be paying attention to that. Then take a look at Procter & Gamble. Those shares are up today. They were up at one point, about 5%. They reported for the most recent quarter that revenue was better than expected, came in at $20, uh, 20, 20 bucks would not be great, uh, $20.95 billion. CEO was on Yahoo Finance Live this morning with Brian and with Julie and the team and talked about the fact that uh, they've had to raise prices, but they said that uh, the consumer is actually has been able to absorb those prices. So investors seem to think that Procter & Gamble uh, is accurate in that. They've also said that they might take a little bit of a breather trying to figure out if they need to continue with the price increases, but not immediately. Emily?